Here in this clip, I want to point out that when you look uh, close uh, to the uh, A pillar, uh, right there, right before that last clip, before the uh, A pillar, you want to make sure you leave at least uh, one inch or a little bit more hanging because when you are ready to install or to pull the headliner against the front window to uh, glue it against the edge in the front window, you want to have enough uh, headliner material to fold it and make a nice hem to give it a very nice finish. And you'll see uh, when we uh, show you uh, what it looks like uh, when the uh, headliner has been pulled and it's already glued to the front window. Once the adhesive has uh, tacked for one minute, you're ready to start pushing uh, the flappers into the uh, uh, clippers. Fold the uh, headliner in a offset angle to make a nice hem to give it a nice finish. Stretch the uh, headliner tight to where you're going to about to uh, glue it uh, and make sure that the other side is equally stretched and well distributed. Okay, so here I'm about to trim whatever excess material I have before I make my flappers to fold them against the edge of the uh, C pillar and the B pillar. So what I would recommend you do here is when you start cutting your excess material for uh, you to fold it, uh, make sure that you cut um, about a quarter of an inch uh, or an eighth of an inch before the uh, pocket a seam from your last bow. If you remember earlier, I said it was cold. My heater just kicked in. Uh, when I applied the adhesive in the outside edge of the window, it's taking longer to tack.
I'm happy with that. A technique to wait a little bit longer for the outside of the body of the car. It, it works better, it tacks uh, better when you do it that way. Are you still with me? Stay put, keep on watching. Uh, yet I have not made a mistake, but pretty soon I will. So keep on watching so you see where I screwed up with my headliner and how I fixed it. Watch the next video.